Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers, and this is Annie 235, and this is Module 12. We just completed our character and the new clothing, and so the character is looking more like your character than a generic character that we were working on before. So all the modeling and texturing is done. You, we did. We just got finished doing some blend shapes, and don't worry that if you're not completely finished with the blend shapes or didn't turn that in you can still do the rigging because we're not going to bind the skin to the rig just yet so we have a couple weeks for that so do not delete by type history when you do your blend shapes if you click on delete by type history it will get rid of the blend shapes so don't do that in this module we're going from the artistic side of things from modeling and texturing to now more technical side of things for rigging so I want you you need to change gears now and when we get into more tech uh, technical issues um, problem solving is going to be uh, something that you're going to have that's going to be in the forefront and you're gonna have to watch these videos several times over and over again and until you uh, it depends on how you uh, work. Do you watch the videos maybe the first time? Just watch it all the way through. One video at a time, like watch one video and then go back and watch it and then pause it and then do what I did. You know, do the things that I just did in the video and then do one little piece at a time and pause it. And if you do that, you're going to do really good. If you try to watch the video and and work while the video is going and you don't pause it, you're going to miss stuff, and that's when things can cause problems and issues, because this is a, a very technical part uh, of of this course. You're going to need to spend a lot more time watching the videos and making sure you do it right, and and just break it up. Uh, how you manage it is you break it up in smaller chunks, and then you'll do just fine. Okay, so in this, so as an overview, um, this is rigging part one. We're going to do the legs first, and we are going to create a uh, reverse foot. We're going to create an IK system, and we're going to create uh, knee controls that will allow us to control the knee direction with pull vectors. So there's a lot of intricate and technical things we're going to be uh, hitting right away. So there's a lot of uh, things you need to read up on and watch videos on, so you get a you get a really nice foundation on how things work. And then from there you can start doing uh, the lessons or the assignment. The assignment is the last thing you're going to do because you need to understand the first stuff, the you know the things that you need to learn first, which is the lesson and lecture part. So, so basically, you're going to be learning how to create an IK system and the leg joints that go all the way down the leg, as you can see here. And then we have a reverse foot here that's set up right in through here that we're going to work on. And then we're going to have a controller for the foot that controls the set driven keys. And we can do the foot roll back and forth. Okay. And then we're going to create a, a knee controller that controls the pull vector of this joint and the system that goes up to that IK handle. And that will control which way. If I move that uh, knee over or this way, it'll move that knee and point it towards that. So that's really nice too. So we're gonna pr we're gonna have a pretty robust uh, rigging uh, rig system. So hopefully uh, you just take your time and everything will go good. Uh, I'm about ready to take these these little my user interface. You should be pretty confident in that so far. All right, so we're gonna go through the lesson content lecture. What are joints? and basically joints are building blocks of skeletons if you look at your uh, anatomy and you see skeleton you see the skeleton it's basically uh, we're not going to put as many points of articulation as our human skeleton but we're going to we're going to we're going to hit the shoulder you know the uh, elbow the wrist and the fingers and the digits we're going to have quite a few 
Um, but as far as the vertebrae and our backs go, we're not going to put as many as you see in a real human body. That makes no sense to do that for uh, a, you know a, a stylistic character. So we're going to we're going to pull back on that. But and then the, of course the 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 toes are different because we're going to have boots and shoes on. So we're not going to be doing every single toe unless they're barefoot. So we're not going to be doing that. But we talk about the joint chain system. What's the difference between FK and IK? You need to watch that video. You need to really read all of this stuff so you can better understand what's going on. Parenting objects together versus grouping objects. Make sure you watch that video. Um, again, it takes you through some of the parenting um, situations you're going to be getting into with rigging. What is a constraint? This is a great little video tutorial I found that I thought was really interesting and and you can learn a lot from that, how constraints work. And set driven keys, which is a lot more technical than you would think, uh, but it's a lot of fun. You can do a lot of really, really cool things with that, so please watch or please uh, read that. And then what are controllers used for? Um, the the easiest way to put it is that a controller you don't want to have to click on the joint that's inside the skin of your character and and then animate it that's really it's not efficient so you're gonna want to have a controller that actually when you click on the controller which is easy it's gonna be outside of the body when you click on it you can be able to animate that and not the joints so we talk about adding con adding controllers and how that all works. This is kind of a workflow on, on adding adding controllers. So the assignment is you will watch and uh, and I basically put everything in the right order. So when you start learning, start from the top and work your way down. Okay, there's a reason for why I do that because uh, one one aspect builds on another so once you read all that we're gonna create a leg joint IK system a reverse, syst a reverse foot system a foot controller and we're gonna have you create a mini play blast movie which I take you through for the first time I don't think I've talked to you about animation yet and how to animate something so don't worry if you don't know how to do that I'll have a video on that and uh, okay, okay, so we're going to start rigging. So I talked to you about set driven keys and how to create a set driven key between two objects. Okay, and then we talk about basics of creating joins, setting a preferred angle, and adding an IK system. I show you how to do that in this video. We just kind of take a cylinder and I take you through the process of how it actually works. And then we start the actual video on how to get your character set up. Um, you need to get it in uh, working foot units, not centimeters. So make sure you go in there and, and watch that video. That's really important. And then we take you through the process of creating a reverse foot. Okay, and then we talk about controllers and how to add those controllers. And then we add the set driven keys in this video here. And here we add the knee control pull vector. Um, and then we've got how you, how you create your play blast movie when you get all that finished so again when you're watching these this is a lot more technical we take more time you don't need as much time you don't really need a week to do this but I give you a week to, to actually create something if I were to create this from scratch I could to, probably do it in five or ten minutes now this is the first time you're doing it so you need to watch the, the videos you need to pause it and you need to you know kind of go through what I've went through you can rewind the videos and start again um, just be mindful that if you don't if you go right into these videos and you don't go into these earlier videos you're gonna be lost you're gonna have a hard time and I would watch these videos and go through them a couple times so you feel comfortable adding joints okay so do these a couple times and then move on to the character okay don't worry about having to start over so if you get to a certain point and it's not working what I would recommend that you do instead of trying to fix what you did delete what you have okay and then go back to the video and watch the video again and try to get him and more often than most you you missed one little thing and that can cause the 
uh, these issues and problem solving is very difficult because I you know you can send me the rig and I had a, I'd basically have to create it recreate it again um, and, and and send it to you and I'm not going to do that because you got you have to do the work this is the reason for you to do this was is to watch the videos and try to problem solve I'm I'm, I'm happy to look at it but the first thing I'm going to ask you is, did you recreate it? Did you try to recreate it at least once, twice? And the first time I got into rigging, I think I had to rig a character 10 times before I got it to work. Okay? It's because when you're watch, I was watching too much of the video and then going back into Maya and trying to remember all that, what I just watched, you have to do very small sections. We're talking about maybe five, you know, maybe five seconds of video, maybe four seconds of video, and maybe two seconds of video. I don't know, you know, if it's something uh, that's really important. You may not go and, and just watch a little bit of it and then go into Maya and recreate what you just watched. And then rewind it and make sure you got it right. Okay? All right, so just take your time with these videos. There's there there really are not very many videos. We got five parts to it, I think. Three parts, four parts, and that's not that's not much. Okay, so you could you could probably get this done in maybe two or three hours, and then the rest of the week is yours, or you can move forward. Okay, all right, with the rigging. Um, I don't want you doing it by yourself. You have to watch my videos, of course, but they're you know, I'm I'm uh, basically have videos out there, and anyway, so you get that done, you're good to go. Make sure you turn in the, uh, make sure you read my the grading rubric. Always go with what I'm asking for here, because this is what I'm grading you on. Okay, if there is some, I want you to tell me if you see some uh, discrepancies between what you see here in the grading rubric and what you see in the turn in instruction deliverables. Please just give me a heads up. Uh, be kind and, and gracious and uh, just let me know and I appreciate that. Um, and I'll make uh, some adjustments or let you know what you need to do. Uh, but normally I would probably tell you um, that you can ignore, I mean I don't want you to ignore anything, but I want you to turn in, you need to turn in what I'm asking for here because I'm grading that, make sure you're getting that in. But the deliverables is more specific on what you need to have turned in. Okay. If you have questions, let me know. At jbyers3 at gcc.edu. And here is the uh, instructor leg rig test play blast movie. And you can watch that and look at that. And that's what I'm going to be grading you on on top of the screenshots. Okay. So. I wish you the best of luck this week. Take just take it slow. Um, you'll do fine with the rigging, and um, and just watch the videos over and over again, and take your time with the videos, and watch just a little bit, and then and then go ahead and try to recreate what you just watched um, in Maya. Have fun, enjoy. Again, this is very technical. Some of you guys love this technical stuff and want to learn more and more and more and more, which is great. I love that. Um, and some of you guys will find this um, tough to do because it's it's so technical. Um, so anyway, have fun, enjoy, and if you have questions about anything, just let me know at jbyers3 at gcc.edu and have a great week and uh, and have a lot of fun. All right, I'll see you in uh, module 13.